what was this? The San Francisco Gay Men's Choir, did you say? Yeah. <laughs> okay, and you yeah. weren't part of that? I, <laughs> I was never a part of it. Uh, <laughs> Just I a did, welcomed observer. <laughs> I did live in San Francisco for quite a oh, bit. Oh, I, I see. I, I am actually... From, I, I've seen these guys out in public, you know, many oh, years Oh, now ago. you have seen them. Okay, um, interesting. But, uh, no, unfortunately, I was not a part of this organization, no. Unfortunately, okay. <laughs> We're coming for them. We're coming for your children. We're coming for them. We're coming for your children. This isn't sick at all. Oh my god. Um, oh sorry. Um what? So I think in the first half I was like, okay, I can see what the argument that they would make would be uh they're we're going to com- we're using come for your children as a way to get you to listen to us and then we're going to say, "Oh, we're coming to make them understanding and accepting to people but then they literally just say we're going to convert them and get them to convert other people now if i'm going way out in left field and i'm talking uh the green monster in in boston and trying to defend them i would say they mean we're coming for to convert them into people who are understanding of course but when you say con if when you say convert people if they were to say <laughs> a a see your religious person say convert you would be convert them to your religion not convert them to you know the understanding of jesus or something so i think i'll, I'll go ahead and say i'll get my uh, bryson gray hat on say this is sick um nobody should be promoting this nobody should be laughing about this um you've got what looked like at least 50 men there saying that they want to convert your children to being gay which is not tolerant and not accepting you're, if you're converting somebody to a different sexuality then that means you're not uh respecting what they are and then you're going to get them to convert other people. Uh, disgusting question mark exclamation point. Absolutely. And what makes this worse is that if I'm not mistaken, this is the same San Francisco gay men's choir that only a couple weeks ago did a little video about um, the, the, the Rona shot, right? Where they were standing in the parking lot and they were, and they were singing a song about getting people to take the shot. I don't, I, again, I don't know where we stand on the the censorship here on YouTube, but um, <laughs> that's just a that's just another level to the insanity. Now we can you you know we could fact check that, but I'm pretty sure it was only a couple weeks ago that the same the same group of guys wrote a song about getting people to take the shot. And on top of that, I don't know if you've ever been to San Francisco. No. I have, right? Um, it is, I mean, it is intrusive. It's intrusive. They have a uh, Scott Weiner, who is a senator out in California, and he famously wrote a bill that would um, lighten the punishments for, you know, relations between children and adults. Um, he famously said that they should pay addicts to stay clean. They would. Didn't they, they would... also decriminalize a- purposeful HIV transmission? Yep, all of this stuff. And they have these fairs. Um, mo- obviously, you know, most notably, they have the uh, the Pride Parade. It was probably among one of the first in the country. Um, they used to do a giant, a giant Halloween party. It got so big and so unruly that they stopped it a handful of years ago. But these things are out in the street. There's kids everywhere. Um, you know, I don't have kids, so I'm not going to take the like super moral moral high ground. But it's just, it's just disgusting, right? Again, you wouldn't. You wouldn't say to a kid, you, you know, you wouldn't say to a, a, a second or a third grader or something, you wouldn't talk to them about, you know, going to pick up a box of condoms and, and, and the proper, th- you, you, you know what I mean? Like, you, you might have a birds and the bees talk. You might say, oh, do you have a crush on that girl? But, but this stuff is overtly sexual, and I'm not understanding why it's okay. Uh, we saw that Washington Post article a week or so ago where 
the lady says that she wants her kids to learn about kink, right? So why is it okay when it's gay, but it's not okay if it's straight? Same thing with the transgender stuff, right? If I transition into a woman, everybody has to believe it. But if I transition into a, a professional golfer, nobody's going to buy it. <laughs> 